Senator Price, can I clarify um, something? Prime Minister uh, Albanese said earlier tonight that Lockhart River, Mornington Island, Palm Island, those communities which are majority Indigenous foods uh, were had overwhelmingly voted yes. Contrarily, you made the point that the majority of Indigenous Australians had voted no. Can I just clarify, what is your expectation on the, in the remote foods in the NT, your territory, the, you know, the territory you represent, will they be a majority of yes or no vote? It'll be interesting to see. I mean, one thing that I do know is the way in which Indigenous people in remote communities um, are exploited for the purpose of you know, somebody else's gender. I think going ahead, we probably look, need to look at the way in that, which the AEC, the NTEC, conduct themselves when it comes to remote polling, at elections, at referendums. I think we should take away um, those who come in with their how to votes, the unions that come in and overpower vulnerable Aboriginal people in those communities. There is a lot that goes on in remote communities that the rest of Australia doesn't get to see. If we had cameras in those remote communities at those polling booths, Australia would see what goes on within those communities. There's a lot of manipulation. Um, what are you suggesting the AEC? You know what? You know what? I'm, I'm, people are committing suicides in these communities. People are being raped and beaten. And this is the questions you come up with. Where's the about getting results? Getting people reducing suicide and instead of this nonsense that you people carry on with. It's about time. We had a vote tonight that said Australians want to get things done. Well, stop talking about all this other nonsense and actually start talking about those kids and those in, who are young as nine and ten who commit suicide in their communities and those big kids who get raped and pillaged and, and people who haven't got jobs, for God's sake. You know, but wake up to yourselves and start asking real questions and, and making governments accountable.